Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss dynamic routing. Dynamic routing is an adaptive technique. In static routing, we used to provide the network addresses by ourselves. But in dynamic routing, we don't need to do that. It uses different algorithms to determine the routes to different devices. Let's start. Here in this video, also we will have three routers and six computers and we will make the appropriate connections here also we are going to use 1841 routers In router 1, we will add additional port. Now, all the connections have been established. We will provide these devices different IP addresses. As you already know, here we have five different networks. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and the fifth one.
in these three networks we have assigned the appropriate ip addresses now we will proceed for forward to this one and this Now all the IP addresses have been assigned. We will proceed forward towards the dynamic routing part. In the routing section, we go on RIP. Now you just have to mention all those network addresses that the given router knows about. For example, this router zero, it knows about this network. and this network so in the network we will provide this address this network address and this network address similarly we will go for router 2 Router 2 knows about this network and this network. Now our router 1 it knows about this network, this network and this So we will appropriately put the network IDs. Now the dynamic routing has been done and we will check if it is working or not by sending message. The first and foremost thing we have to pay attention to, first few messages can fail. But after that, the messages would be su sent successfully. This message failed, but we will try again. So our second message was successful. Now after this, all messages from this computer to this computer would be successful. Now let's try to send message from this computer to this one. The first message failed. As you can see here, this one. The second message was successful here also. So this was all we had to discuss for dynamic routing. Thank you for watching.